Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amir Mambachi. I'm a biomedical engineering PhD candidate at the University of Toronto, as well as a co-founder in Spine Sonics Medical, which was incorporated about a month ago. Today, I'll be talking about Pedic Pro, uh, which is a product inspired by my PhD thesis, and it it's, uh, has the capability to provide real-time navigation for spine surgeons. So it is estimated that at any given point in time, up to 40% of the population may be experiencing some level of back pain, maybe one of these guys, even in the panel. So doctor may recommend spinal fusion surgery if you have one of the following conditions, a spinal deformity, a fractured vertebrae, or a bulging or herniated disc which can press on the exiting spinal nerves. So it is, uh, according to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, almost a quarter million spinal fusion surgeries were performed in 2008, only in the United States alone. So taking into account some of the statistics, we can estimate that this number should be doubled by this moment. So almost half a million only in the States. And uh, it is worthwhile to mention that all of these surgeries necessitate the insertion of these screw implants called pedicle screws. So here's the problem. Um, the insertion of pedicle screws is a complicated task due to limited visibility of the spine, continuous bleeding of the exposed regions, variability in pedicle morphology from one patient to another, and close proximity of many vital structure. Of major concern is the fact that improperly placed screws could potentially damage the spinal cords and nerve roots, as you can see in this picture. And uh, you can assume that this leads into even paralysis. It leads to uh, even revision surgeries for hospital, even like healthcare lawsuits. So unfortunately, literature suggests an alarmingly high rate between varying between 20 to 40 percent for the misplacement. Now, this could be mainly due to the fact that, given all these advancement in technologies, even the, to date, the insertion of pedicle screws is a very manual. Um, process. So as the surgeon creates this guide hole, basically he or, he or she feels underneath their hand how this advancement is going. And so if it becomes too effortless or too difficult, they can guess that pr they're probably breaching out and hitting one of the, potentially breaching into one of the neurons, nerve roots. Um, as a result, it's really hard to teach this feeling. So you can assume to teach a resident, of course it takes seven to ten years to teach feel this feeling. And of course in this Asian technology we could do much better with our technology. Pedic Pro, our product, however, provides a solution. So it consists of an ultrasound sensor at the tip of the surgical toolkit, and it does not change anything from the surgical workflow. So as the surgeon is creating this guide hole, um, the device, Pedic Pro, uh, offers real-time ultrasound images from different varying, um, various cross-sections in pedicle. So the surgeon is creating this guide hole, and he or she can look up on the screen and can actually see how this advancement is going relative to this corte cortex, these boundaries. It's affordable because ultrasound is affordable relative to other imaging modalities. Uh, it's safe, it's non-radiative, and it's portable, so um, it's even great for battlefield clinics. Now imagine with pedic probe, a surgeon can hand in one of the cannulation probes to a trainee. The surgeon can step aside and just monitor on the screen how the trainee is doing. It's a way better training as well, educational aspects. In terms of market size, there are already established uh, literature showing that the use of image guidance reduces the rate of revision surgery by 3%. So not only this is great from a healthcare standpoint, but also it's great from a financial aspect. So doing our math, taking this number into account, so let's say we're reducing by 3% the rate of revision surgeries, um, taking into the, case, the number of cases per year and multiplying by the cost it has for the hospitals. Um, it is evident, we can demonstrate, that upon the introduction's device, we can actually introduce global cost savings of up to a few hundred million dollars per year. So we're grateful for current uh, funding support from Ontario Centers of Excellence. With that, we're actually fabricating a, a functional prototype at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. Towards the end of this month, we'll be filing two patents, followed by a series of cadaver studies. We'll be rapidly moving towards commercializing this. In terms of commercialization plans, because we don't have the means necessary to sell and network ourselves, so we'll be looking to oppor uh, licensing opportunities. We have already identified who to talk to, Ontario entities. This is our team, consists of an ultrasound scientist, a neurosurgeon down at St. Michael Hospital right here. He does uh, also consultation with industry and has the ability to bridge the gap between industry, academia, and clinics. We have an IP strategist as well as myself who is really passionate to take this forward, who really wants to make a career out of this, and I'll guarantee you, if you help me with this fellowship, I'll take it as much as I can. And with that, thank you for listening.